and everybody welcome back to assassin's creed valhalla tips video today we're going to get in the treasure hordes of england which you will also need for excalibur there are eight of these um and we're actually at the location of the first one now so you want to head over to here to grimes graves um just in east anglia give you the zoomed out view and then we want to jump look for this tent eyes, here my friend And then you just want to jump down this hole. Now, I've already got this one, but I'll show you exactly where it is. So, we just want to run through this cave. Or is it this way? Nope, it's the other way. So, we want to run through here. Uh, this is quite an easy one to get. Just keep jumping along the platforms. So, pretty light. so the other ones can get quite confusing but like i said this is the easy one there's not really anything you need to figure out so just keep following it through um if you've what? got the dlc uh the season pass this is actually where you'll fight um grendel's mother so that's actually how I found this one. There is also a school down here, a cursed school. So if you slide down here, I'll show you where it is. I'm not going to do it, but just down here, and it's right there. So all you need to do is shoot that if you do want to do the cursed skull at the same time for down here. But we're going to climb up. Uh, we're going to carry on going along our platforms. And then we want to jump across to here. And one more set of platforms. And then across and to that one. And you shot. see the pots on this table here. You want to shoot those pots and the treasure hoard will be right there. So that is the first one. Remember, you need all eight of them if you are looking to get a Excalibur. You'll also get a skill point for each one, but we'll head over to the next one. Right, here we are at the next one. You want to head to Essex, um, literally just south of Colchester, so it's probably best to fast travel over there. Give you a nice zoomed out view. Uh, show you the eagle view as well. Yeah, a little bit awkward to guide the eagle around. Uh, you want to head through this cave anyway. Uh, once again, it's going to be a one cave that we need to follow through. I think this one's a little bit more complicated. I guess we'll find out. Uh, jump across here. And then here you want to go right. Follow it all the way around. Uh, I'm going to get these because I need a lot of wine at the moment. So I do apologise. Just take a little side step for a moment. Um, but th there is actually a lot of iron involved um, if you're doing all the treasure hoards. And it's because it's all in mines and stuff. So if, if iron's something that you want, then make sure you keep an eye out because there's an awful lot of it. Um, during this uh, we carry on going though come to this next room we just simply jump across and then over here through the gallop and then slide under here That's right you'll come to this room off. here um, run up to the next one 
And there's going to be lots like of barrels. What you want to do yeah, is that grate in the Those middle that we just stepped fall. over. Sure. You want to shoot yeah. these because you need to fill it, up that reach. in the middle because the treasure's there um, and it needs filling up so that you can reach it. So just shoot as many and eventually you'll be able to be grab able it. To reach it now. And, drink and there we go. That is Looks the valuable. next treasure hoard for the find, old cellar. Um, there is, remember, there's eight in total, so we're two down, six to go. Right, for the next one, you want to head over to Kent, uh, right here on the very east end. Show you the, the overview. Land, my friend. So the ocean is just there. You're looking for this hut. Um, you want to head inside. You see this dark ladder here. We're going to climb down it. Destroy these so that you can slide under. And then drop down here, slide down. So this one is about balance. So a lot of platforming. I'm just going to jump across here to get these. Once again, if you do want a lot of iron, it's going to be another good place to get your iron that you need. We're going to jump back across. Yeah, for not to slide down there because there's no grabs so if you jump too low jump across here you need to grab the key as you're jumping so what you're gonna do is just jump and keep it in square uh, square triangle um if you're on if you're playing with the controller that is unlock the door right now we're gonna jump over to that middle bit. These are flowers that oh, Valka needs if you're looking at doing them. There's quite a lot of them in this game actually. Um, flowers for Valka. Some more iron, so I'll quickly grab that as well. Some more flowers. Right, and then this room, you just want to run along these wires. Run all the way around. And then across this one, and then we need to climb up here. Right, run along to the other end, and the key is up there on the right. So you need to jump, grab it. I missed it, but we'll pretend I didn't. And then we'll carry on. So then you just want to run back the way we came, back to this middle room here, jump onto the rope, across to the next platform. And then just drop down and carry on going through. Right, okay, and then we need to slide and jump across to that one. And then across again. Gonna ignore the iron this time. Some more flowers if you want them for Valka. Right, slide under. And there's another key, which means we need to jump and reach for it. So spam your triangle or whatever it is on PC. Guess an E maybe. As you're jumping, you should get it no problem that one. Some more iron, just gonna quickly grab that and then we'll head up these steps. Jump across to this white platform and then to the next one. Up here, up here, and then we come across to a stone. You just want to pull that back. Okay, and then we come to some room that will look a little bit confusing, but it is pretty simple. You just want to shoot that as soon as you enter in here. And then we're going to jump across to here, climb up here, up to here. We're going to shoot that one next. Wait for the smoke to clear, so we can't quite see what's happening. 
Jump across, jump across, drop down. Uh, there's some arrows there. Right, we need to climb up that ladder there. I'm completely going to grab this iron before we do. Right, climb up the ladder. Grab that key. And then we're going to jump across to let me just double check yeah it's back to that platform there there's the door so I jump across we'll grab some more arrows just in case we need them and then we're going to drop down here we're going to follow it down there's going to be a door there which required both the keys that we recently got so we're going to open that first door with the key and the second door with the next key uh, there's going to be some an ingot in here so grab that if you want to um the treasure's not quite here yet so we'll head through this next one because we've got three keys remember we'll head on up we'll grab Let's some more flowers for valka now at this point you're probably like hmm i feel like i'm leaving now and i still don't have the treasure don't worry that's what i felt which is why a few seconds ago I doubled back. Um, we'll head up here. Right, struggling to climb up. There we go. Another battle. Okay, so this one's a bit of a weird puzzle. Um, so at first I tried to pull the stone, didn't realise it wouldn't work, and I was like, hold on a minute. I can just climb this. So we just climb it jump across to the next one right and then for this next one we need to climb it again but we need to pull it over to here so we'll run back and grab it Climb up. Jump across. Right, need another one. So we'll grab this one and pull it all the way across. Got a bit stuck there. We'll just move around. It's probably easier to push it from this side. Alright, we should be able to jump now. Oh, it might be a bit yeah, too short. Okay. Right, it should be fine now. There we go. Pretty sure we don't need to move the next one, so that's fine. We'll just run up. Uh, we need to grab that key there but the treasure is actually right there as well so we'll grab that grab the key uh, you're about to unlock the door and leave as for us we're gonna head over to the next one right for the next one we're heading over to sussex right down here that's the zoomed out view see you old friend yeah, I was going to show you the eagle view but it's difficult one because it's kind of in a ditch um, anyway we'll head inside just follow my path that's a blocked way so not that way uh, slide under this here keep going um, for this you want to climb up the wall because if you try and run up that obviously you're just going to slide back down so just climb up the wall. Uh, you'll see I had that jump cut because it took me a little bit to figure this bit out. Because I am done. Um, we'll jump across. Uh, we come across this bridge bit here. We actually want to go turn right there and jump across to there. I cut out so I ran across to the other side first. 
Uh, we'll come to these. So we'll just swing across these. And then across that ladder. Um, I didn't realise, but you actually will need to shoot the ladder to drop it. Or if you're like me, you can just climb up. You don't have to shoot the ladder if, you, if you're not too fussed. But yeah, there you can see the mechanism to shoot it. Or just climb up the wall. Um, and then run along, slide under that. To another platform, we'll jump up there, across to these white ones. Um, all the way across. Uh, another dead end. So, what we want to do this time is, I got a little bit confused here, but if we turn left instead, um, find the way. Some more white platforms, and then we this time, Good to check there's anything there. Um, nope. So we're going to jump onto this zip line instead. We'll slide all the way down. Right, so we need something to blow that up. So that's all we need to look for. We've got one right in this little room here. We're going to grab that. And then we're going to throw it at that. Kaboom. Head on through. Slide under. And then slide down here. One more enigma to unravel. Okay, so if you want to know what the idea of this one is, read that. So this one requires us to swim through um, chambers. Uh, there's quite quite a few chambers here so jump across these and then the bit you actually want to dive down uh, so I was checking I thought hmm, maybe it's up there because I'm a dummy don't really notice about the notes saying swim but jump in here and then like I said there are quite a few chambers so you want to make sure you're using your lunge whenever you can otherwise you may run out of oxygen here Keep going through. Uh, not really spoken much during this section because it's pretty self-explanatory. There's not too many ways you can go. It's just a case of swimming through. Um, when you do surface, you'll surface in this room right here. Um, we've got those, but the treasure we want is right here in the middle. Although it might not look like it on the mini map, it is right there in that middle section. So that's the next one. We will leave this area now and head over towards our next treasure ridden. Right, here we are, the next one. We're heading to Hamptonshire this time, to the Red Lichen Cavern. Uh, right there, literally next to Winchester, so best bet is fast travel there. We're going to head inside this cavern here. Mm, Thor lends me strength. That's a good view, Eivor. Thor's lending him strength, guys. Right, run across here. Just keep running through this cavern. The red, red Lichen Cave, because of all the red, um, like, moss stuff on the walls. The first platform bit. So this is where the climbing mechanics, I was like, hmm. But basically you just want to jump to that middle bit there, jump across to the branch. Then you need to jump over to that ledge on our left, because otherwise you'll hit the stalagmites and you'll just fall down. And then drop down when you're over them. Slide over this. So we're starting to get the green poison stuff now as well. It means we'll probably need our torch at some point. So best bet for this one, grab your torch and just lob it at the green. 
Man, you're able to jump across without being poisoned as you do it. Be quick before it respawns, obviously. Right, keep following it through. Legend, Death Silent, Horizon Clouds, any fire can cleanse. It's basically telling you need to throw your torch at the gas. So we'll throw it down there. And we need another one because we need to throw it up there. We got it, nice. Bounced off the wall, we got really lucky there. Right, and once again, the climbing mechanics is being awkward, but we'll follow this ledge right here. Drop ourselves down. And there's our treasure. Red Lichen Cave is complete. Okay. And for our next one, we're headed over to Hamptonshire again. This time northeast of the northwest of the previous one. To Watchwig, Watchwig, just here. So Try and show you the eagle view, but the eagle's not really playing very nice today. But you're looking for this here, so there's like a riverbed. Follow the riverbed to the cave mouth. So, right there, look. Okay, let's head inside. Right, and there's a boat here, so jump on the boat, grab the oar, uh, we'll follow the river. Um, I do jump off a few times just because there are some resources in here, and I was just double checking if there was anything else. Uh, apart from this one, where I purely, admittedly, just crashed the boat. And then, for some reason, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is the area. No, it's not. But if you want some paws, you can jump off here and grab them. It's just that stone looks really odd. There is a chest, though, so if you want the chest, there you go. Uh, and then just jump back on your boat. Here we go. This time you look up there to your right. You want to climb with those. You'll see it by the um, iron grips that are on the wall. Climb that wall. Some more iron. Remember guys, if you are enjoying the story videos we've had plenty, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I hate doing that when the video is not yet over, but you know, helps out the channel address massive amount. Um, we'll keep following this through anyway. Onto these white ledges. Through to this middle bit. And then back over to white ledges again. Over to here, there's some more iron, so we're quickly going to grab that. Right, and then slide through here. More white ledges. Another more iron. And Abel's already told us there is another puzzle coming. I was like, hmm. But he's actually talking about the room in there. Find the scarlet robe, darkness is your cloak, and the light will be shrouded. So for this one, all you need to really do, um, you can't move. You can't move those. Uh, I was just double checking. You want to head into this room here. We lighted up a torch, and we realised, damn, there's a lot of barrels that can explode. So what you want to do is just, you need that hole there. So you just want to throw your torch and then run out because most of it is going to explode. So you might as well just slide back through that hole there until it's all done. 
Okay, and then head on through. We can slide into that hole now, and our treasure's right there on the middle. Cool. Right, let's go get our butts over to the next one. If you want a chest, there's one right there. Let's go to the next treasure. Right, into the snowy areas of Irvishere to Wiccan's Cave, just west of Jorvik for this one. We're going to head on inside this cave, so show you where me. it is. It's just here. Quite close to that uh, lake. Um, for this one, we're going to head on in. Um, we'll climb up this ledge right here. Grab hold of the white. Um, and it took me a while, but what you actually need to do here, because I was thinking, you know you're the old Assassin's Creed where you could like jump from ledge to ledge? We can in this one. We drop down, realize my mistake, we climb up, and what you need to do is just pull yourself up and then jump across. And then we're looking for that rope, so we jump onto that rope, onto the stone, and then across, and then follow this cavern through. No way you can really go. You come to this room with the giant tree, um, just follow it down to the left and then drop down um, you'll need to climb up to this middle bit here but there's a lot of ice around it so you need to find the part you can actually climb which is right there if you want an opal there's one right there in that centre the ice is blocking us from getting it at the moment but there we go we got it Um, climb up this bit here. I was wrong about the, the middle piece. Climb up here and you'll jump onto this branch. Climb across the tree. All the way. And then up here. And then, oh, we got really lucky there. We should have fallen, but we didn't. Keep going. And then up here. Pull yourself up to this ledge. Another small caverns, just follow yourself around, jump across there. And then I don't know what the, the climbing mechanics let me down once again here. But you want to jump through this bit here. And then you'll come to this one, which is like a witch's cave. Uh, you want to look to the right. Um, do I look? And then if you look to the right, I'm a little bit confused at the moment. But if you look up, the ice is breakable there. So we just want to break that and then run over climb ourselves up jump through right then you come to this room with a door now if you do have the leap of the valkyries level two which is like an aoe you can just do this and as if any of you know the bad doors do unlock by doing that if not head right there's gonna be lots of chickens um if you accidentally hit any of them which i do here they will all start attacking you, so just kill all the chickens. Right, and then run over to the grate. We're going to shoot those barrels. Which is going to make it so then we can run round back to the other side and we'll be able to shoot the barricade off from that side. And then run back through, head into the middle. And our treasure's right there in front of the tomb. Right, we have one more left to go. So we're going to head over there now. The final one. The final one is in Snottinghamshire. Right up here. Not too far from Wiccan's Cave. Just slightly northwest of it. Um, so probably best to do these ones in the order that I have. Right, we're going to head inside this cavern. It's quite a simple one. Okay, we're going to jump over to that.
go through here. Uh, as you can see, there's a key on that and right there. They have left me a challenge. So we'll grab that key. And there's an opal as well. You get a lot of opals from doing these as well, to be fair, people. Um, puzzle here is find the blade key. be sure if it is a mountain goat first, but beams final breath. Trust jewel and net metal. Uh, unlock the door. And then jump across here onto this big platform bit in the middle. And then we want to grab that, but drop down here. And we want to jump across to there. Put ourselves up. Climb up here. And then climb up these rocks here. Follow this round, jump onto this white platform. And across, swing onto there, up to the platform across onto the statue onto the platform onto the stalagmite and fully across to that next platform and there is a chest there so grab your chests have a look around where we need to go next so we need to head up this broken statue here um the arm's a little bit awkward to avoid up some steps here and there it is you can see it right in front of us the final tablet for our treasure hordes of England collection. That is all of them then, people. Um, that's all um, eight of the treasure stone, treasure hordes. Uh, remember, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. We will have a guide coming up for how to do Excalibur. I know there's a lot of guides already, but we may as well do one now we've done all the treasure hordes. Um, so that'll be shortly. I need to get my power level up a bit more first because I don't want to cheat to get it. I want to do um, the fights legit. But guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, give yourselves a beautiful day, and bye bye.